Hi guys, we're in my bathroom to give the ground effect vehicle a little test. Probably a bit of a waste of time because it's not going to have enough distance to build up the cushion of air underneath. But I will at least demonstrate it on the water. So maybe if I find a big puddle in a car park somewhere I might give it another try. But I will just demonstrate on the water. to build up the well that proves something straight away we nose heavy I've just added some uh, not quite sure what's called them fins <laughs> to try and give a bit more buoyancy at the front so, because what we need is a bit of an air gap there, so that the air can get underneath and lift the front of the boat. That's better. So, that'll do for part two, a little bit of a buoyancy aid at the front to get the air underneath so the boat can get going, or whatever we want to call this vehicle. So if I find a handy puddle in a car park I'll give it another go, but I think that showed the difference, <laughs> it was going nose in initially. But that little bit of extra flotation is given the front just enough so the air can get underneath and then we get the cushion of air underneath. And I think I said underneath several times then. Anyway, that'll do for now. So that's part two. I'm not sure if I mentioned in that summary just then that I've added quite a bit of blue tack at the back here to get the back down into the water. If I made this again from scratch, I'd move the motor to the back anyway, so that we got all the weight at the back to lift the front up, so that we catch the air easier.